In this video, I will explain you the concept of price level generic. This feature in GoFrugal RPO7 allows you to configure the selling price of items based on price level. Click on Go and search as price level generic. The price level generic menu is available under the menu path, inventory, price level, price level generic. Give a name for your price level. Now in the option type, you can choose the option type as category wise, distributor wise, matrix combination wise, item wise and manufacturer wise. Choose the option type, click enter to load the items. In the base DOM, specify the attribute from which the price level has to be calculated. Whether the calculation should happen from the landing cost, MRP, purchase rate, selling rate or special rate. Give your option and in the percentage amount, choose whether the price level should calculate as percentage or amount. In the sign, if you want to increase the price, give plus or if you want to decrease the price, give minus. In the value, specify the value. Give the round off type and round off value. Like this, you can choose multiple options and save the price level. Now, if there are items which match multiple price level, you can specify the price level order here. Now I have selected item wise and manufacturer wise. Consider this item is present in both option types. Now if you want to calculate this or this, you can specify in price level order. The applicable order is shown here. You can also change the order. If you want to apply for only particular customers. Please select the customers here. Now we have created a price level with an item as well as manufacturer wise. We have given the order and the price level is applicable to the following customers. Once you have given everything, click on save. Click on yes. Now this price level will apply only for the below selected customers. If you want to apply this for all the customers, click on go and search as configuration. The configuration is available under the menu path, tools, configuration, configuration. In the inventory, choose price level setting. Here, enable the configuration, enable default price levels and you can also select the default price level. Click on save. The configuration will be saved successfully. Now when you load the item, you can find that the new selling rate is fetched from the price level. Now let us see the effect of configuration. Disable the configuration and save. Now when you load the item, you can see that the original rate is being loaded. If you want to decide whether to apply the price level at the run time, at the time of billing, it is possible to do so. Search for the function key price level. Click on it and select the created price level. In this case, even though you have not selected the customer, the price level will be applied. Hope this feature will be very useful for your business. Thank you for watching the video.